Okay, I'm going to take you down to the exam room. When I think of a manly man, I think of somebody who has strength, endurance, sexual prowess, and fertility. And in fact, what the scientific studies are showing is that the more meat men eat, the more quickly they lose their manly manhood. The blood test with the Miami Dolphins measured how a single meal could affect blood flow throughout the entire body. I asked Dr. Spitz if he could conduct an experiment with three collegiate athletes, but this time on a more specific part of the male anatomy. So, <laughs> here's a model of a penis. Dr. Spitz is the lead delegate of urology for the American Medical Association. When it comes to the penis, he literally wrote the book. Now, you're going to be putting this device on yourself. One ring goes on the base of the penis, and the other ring goes on at the tip of the penis, just behind the head of the penis, but knows how tight to squeeze to know when an erection is starting, because when it squeezes, it'll determine, oh, it's now of a larger circumference. Something's happening. What we're going to look at is what effect the meal you have has on your erections that night, and you're going to be eating two different kinds of meals. For this study, on the first night, we gave the guys burritos that had meat, beef, chicken, pork, but really high-quality meats, grass-fed, organic. On the second night, we gave them very similar burritos, but we swapped out the animal portions for plant-based protein. That's really good. I thought this was going to be nasty, I'm not going to lie. I didn't think we were going to eat a burrito. I thought we were going to get a salad. <laughs> <laughs> This study is going to take advantage of a natural function that occurs in men when they sleep. Men's bodies create erections, and this occurs throughout the night while the subject is asleep. And once an erection happens, this device can sense it, and a printout is generated of how firm the erection was, how long it lasted, and how many of them there were, to see if we can see a physical effect on erections as a result of what they just ate for dinner. This is where we uh, take a look at the results. So Mason, I'm going to give you your results first. Let you take those out. OK. The bigger the circumference, the harder the erection. And so you'll notice that that first circle, which is the, the meat meal, mm -hmm. is not as big a circle. It's not as hard an erection <laughs> as that second circle, the vegan meal. Now let's look at the second sheet. The second sheet is a, a accumulation of how many erections and for how long you had over the course of the night. So that first stubby graph <laughs> is really, it's not the oh, size of your yeah. penis. <laughs> I'm struggling. It's not the size of your penis. It's how, how many minutes throughout the night you had erections. Wow. Blake, let's take a look at your results. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Hold composure. And look, again. Like Mason, uh, you were more erect after the plant-based diet than the meat-based diet. Okay, how about how often you had erections? Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost a 500% difference. Dang, man. That's crazy. Blake, you ready for yours? We need All right, there you go. <laughs> you had about a 13% change in the hardness of your erections. Okay, let's look at how many or how long you had erections for. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Show it, dang it. Yeah, don't hold that up. <laughs> bro, that's an hour, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys all had a very similar response to the meat meal versus the plant meal. That's crazy. Yeah, growing up, if I saw it, some big dude at a restaurant eating a big old steak, and so I'm like, oh, I, I need to be like that. And then like I see like a guy ordering a salad off the menu, I'm like, he's soft, right? right? Yeah, I'm like, oh, that guy, <laughs> yeah, what he's is he soft. doing? But really, at yeah. the end of the night, the guy eating the big steak is soft, and then the other guy is <laughs> in the heart. <laughs> so when you take your date out on Valentine's Day, where are you going to take them to eat? To the veggie grill. So OK, oh, the yeah. veggie grill. <laughs> now, this is not a scientifically validated study, but the results that we're seeing are very exciting. I think this is going to wake a lot of people up. I think it's going to wake up people who have penises, and I think it's going to wake up people who like people who have penises.